Hello once again, it's Roy with the Gaming Compound. Give me a couple pro tips for the Nintendo Switch. First things first, my eyes are really my eyes are really light sensitive at night when I'm playing. If you go into your settings and go to your themes, you can select which is pretty much dark mode on your system. Almost as if you're on doing Twitch or Twitter on your phone, the, the, the back screen, the white, it's too bright for your eyes, you can select dark mode. The same exact way you could do it on your Switch. Secondly, this is a big thing. Everyone likes skinning their systems, their controllers, their, their actual consoles themselves. It's been known on Reddit lately not to skin your systems at all. Um, apparently it ruins the integrity of the system, it, it, it starts peeling the paint. And even with the dock station itself, it starts ruining the dock, you, you don't want to do it. It's a waste of money, you're going to buy a skin that you like for a week and you're going to want to change it anyway. Next, memory. Memory is a big thing nowadays, everyone's going with 2 terabyte, 3 terabyte. Well, the Nintendo Switch only comes with a 32 gig scan disk. This may seem big enough right now, but Nintendo is releasing games later in the year that is going to take a lot more space. So I would suggest from the door, going on Amazon, going anywhere and purchasing a new scan disc. You're going to save yourself a lot of problems and issues. You're going to load up the game and you're not going to be able to play it at all. And if you're like me, I'm going to be really upset if I can't play. Especially playing. Nintendo says you're pretty much you get three to six hours of play time. Well, if you're a big traveler, you're going to, you're flying across states, you're going to different countries, you're going to need a battery backup. I suggest by purchasing a battery backup, you don't want to get halfway through a game and you're at a boss, you're excited, you're playing, and a battery indicator starts flashing. That's the worst thing in the world, it's flashing and you can't do anything about it. There's no, word, no way to pl plug up into a lighter on an airplane. And with that, if you hold back to the Z, L, and Z, R button in the back of the, the controller, you'll pull up a battery indication in the top right corner to let you know when you're actually working with battery. That, or you can touch it with your finger. But, me personally, I don't like smudges on my screen, so that may work out a lot better for you as well. Let's see, what else I could think of? Hmm. Alright, well... Another thing that most people don't realize in the start, they're so eager to play with their system and take they're just taking a switch and jamming into the dock station. No matter how smooth you are, how delicate you are, you're going to scratch your screen. I suggest a tempered glass screen protector and you can buy them for $15. In the long run, you're, you'll save your screen and you'll be able to play your game for months, from years to come. You don't want have a, a actual scratch going right down the center it's horrible other than that those are your little pro tips thanks for watching see you next time